In this video, I'm going to take you from this to this. This to this. Fancy schmancy. All right, so before I can show you how to do all of that right there, I need to talk a little bit more about the stamp tool and how to make it work as good as possible. So I'm going to open up a new document, and here, that looks good right there. And I'm going to show you a couple of shortcut keys that work for any of the brush tools. So, you know, keep these in mind. I don't know if you're taking notes. I don't know what you're doing. Just keep these in mind. In order to increase the size of a brush, you press the... Uh, whatever this button is called, I guess it would be the uh, square bracket key. So this makes it bigger. In order to decrease the size of a brush, brush, you press the left square bracket key. So that makes it smaller. Right square bracket makes it bigger. Left square bracket makes it smaller. That's really the big thing you need to know. That was honestly the only two shortcut keys I wanted to show you right there. But as long as I have you, let me actually show you a couple of other shortcut keys that well, won't be relevant right now. We're in the section where I'm showing you brush shortcut keys. If you have a couple of colors set to a brush and you want to set them to the default black and white, you can hit D and that will immediately set them to the default black and white. If you want to switch the uh, foreground and background color quickly, you can press X and that will switch the foreground and background color. Let me hit X again. That will switch the foreground and background color. So we were actually doing that earlier when we were talking about, uh, you know, those color uh, adjustment layers and those black and white images with them, the uh, key shortcut X. Um, but the big thing that I wanted to show you was square bracket key increases in size, square bracket key decreases in size. Got it? Good. Let's get back to the horsey.